are we on? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Let's make the phone check. Lights. Lights. Cameras. <laughs> this is Swanky. This is Lifestyle. This is Culture. Welcome to the social center of everything culture. Culture Daily. And uh, we still have time to jump into our big conversation this morning. But before I do that, real quickly, let me let you in on Game On's e tournament, which will be happening um, this uh, month. It's going to be very exciting. Now, if you are into e soccer, that is, uh, you know, playing uh, digital football, okay? Uh, this will be the chance. <laughs> 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 hey, the football. <laughs> Yeah, digital football. If you if you play digital football, there's a chance for you to quickly jump on eventchamp.com. That is E V E N T S Champ. See uh, the British will say H uh, H A M P S dot com right now. You find three music on there. Just hurry up and go and register. That is if you are up for the games. Let's let they say let the games begin. Mm-hmm. Okay, so please jump on there, register if you know you're an e-gamer and you can play that FC24 mad like crazy. I've heard some names like Wonder Boy or Wonder Kid or so. I've heard some Wonder names, kid. you know, some wild boys that I play. I know some guys, yeah, Foley. 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 Um, it'd be small f. Small f. Or PH. PH. Foley. Okay, if you be in there, if you be in there. You know your family. I don't know your family. I'm yet to hear. <laughs> I'm yet to hear. So listen, e soccer tournament is up. All right, so go and get registered real quickly, and 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 get ready for the activation. It's gonna be crazy. Charlie, I've come. I've seen boys that play FIFA like crazy. No, you saw you saw how I beat medical, right? Hmm. In the competition, this matter again. Um, <laughs> but it's fine. I mean, I mean, it's also about. It's, it's also about. Um, it's also about allowing our celebrity, our fellow celebrities, not to you know, you know be embarrassed. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you also threaten D Black. Do you want yeah, to threaten yeah. him again? I mean, I'm putting officially D Black. Yeah. Kenata, I hear you guys play yeah. some yes, soccer. Papi Kojo. Papi Kojo. I mean, yeah. they play what? Some, something, something called, called soccer. soccer. <laughs> I don't know. Did, did, did you suck? Did you suck or something? I did play. Did you suck or something? I'm saying it. Listen, somebody tagged them and turned and I said that if they can play me, they should come because I would. I will give them not less than seven goals to nail. Wow. You know we like treating Papi Gojo too. He's also good. Papi is also good. Yes, yes. You know when you say they are also good, I'm I'm I feel no, like they're not on the level of folio. Yeah, because because you know when mm. uh, yes, medical beat me. <laughs> but it was because I allowed it. Yes, because you were sick. <laughs> and I thought that, you know, the gameplay was going to be some extraordinary gameplay. You know, today's the first day you've actually mentioned mm, that medical score. You forget himself. That medical scored me. Yeah. You forget, forget himself. No, 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 no. You always no. said since the game that. Yeah, you because know, what is won. a win? What is success? Success is not measured by money or wealth. Mm-hmm. Achievements, you know, uh. go, when, you, when you hit certain achievements. So for me, so for me, it was playing, med, med, sorry, medical playing me. Was success. He's dropping a brand new song titled Alpha R. I think so. He's dropped it. He's, he's dropped it. Yeah, oh, yeah. Charlie, I need to go and check it out. Alpha R. You know, yeah. so big shouts going out to medical. Street but what say I want, it's a shot at uh, uh, Okasi One. Okasi One. Eh? But yeah, but but what I want people to understand, you see, look at me, look mm. at Cyril. But the bitch you standing, that's crazy, yo. No, 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 bro. <laughs> I was. I turned my back to even. Oh, really, I turned my back to even. <laughs> Uh, uh, what you call it to even play a certain point? I played a penalty. Watch, I think I turned my back to yeah, somewhere in there. And Cyril was drunk, so I turned my back. Mm. So, there it is when medical arrived, thinking that he was going to win. But for me, success wasn't about scoring, uh, scoring, putting balls behind the net. Success to me was allowing him okay. to play me, sir. Okay, yes, sir. yeah, you understand. Mm. So, you that, that's 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 yeah. it, you know. You've that's been explaining that's for it. eight minutes, 26 I know. seconds, <laughs> 27 my brother, it's seconds. Hard. Hard. It's Twenty-nine hard, seconds. Hard. Should I go on or it's okay? It's okay. It's okay. So it's watch okay. this. It's I right. turn it's my right. back to it's play right. the penalty, and I think they didn't shoot the rest. Yeah, <laughs> they I, didn't shoot the rest. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. I won. And that was, Jay, that's your hair. That's fully. Uh, this nah. your hair was a time. Oh. That's not me though. Looks really good. No, that's fully. That's not me. That's I don't know that guy in the screen, my brother. Mm. I have no idea who was at medical's house. Yeah, ah, okay. This is fully. This is fully. That's what we've been uh, trying, we're trying to tell you all the time. Look at, oh, okay. look at lights. Look at lights. Look at lights, man. Yeah. Look at lights. So, yes. Yeah, so, there it is. So, we are having Game On E Soccer Tournament happening again. And we are encouraging you out there. Tell your friends about it. Let me say a big shout out going out to the boys that was at the barbershop the last time. And uh, I didn't even know I, I couldn't participate in a conversation. I heard all you were saying. And uh, 
shouts good night to all of you inside um 247 clippers uh up inside sakamono the boys are talking about it to you of and i think there's a nana uh, the other names i didn't catch but uh the boys are talking about how you know crazy um some of the boys are with uh with uh you know with fc24 or football whichever one you know so we're encouraging all of you to just come in and put in the numbers on the games go and get registered right now eventschamp.com hurry up go on there you see um three musics uh, uh platform on there or you can jump on our socials as well it's very easy on uh, facebook twitter instagram we pin it at the top there so you can just click on and get registered right now as we're talking make that happen all right so that is for our e-soccer tournament and also brush your teeth morning and evening it's very important. You can't come and play football without brushing your teeth. How? Does. How? I mean, why would you want to do that? So you say, go! Come yeah. and be shot the holy, 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 holy. holy, holy. holy. People collapse and stuff like that. <laughs> holy. <laughs> Some time back, yes. Prophet 1, J. And I'm throwing this, sh- this shot at uh, Bull God. I want this part of the clip captured and sent to my brother Bull God, who's currently in the New, is yes, New by York. Okada. Yes. <laughs> um, about Afrobeats. You see, Aka, Aka, Eyapim. Now, I'm going to read this extract from Joey Akan's page. Now, Joey Akan is also, uh, you know, one of the, how will you describe him? Uh, he's, an, oh, he's an Olele of he's Nigeria. A, he's a pop culture general. He's an Olele of Nigeria. We are changing pop culture name he's, to Olele. Leleo. <laughs> Leleo. <laughs> yes. The DTF. I'm going to read this. It says, this is the worst batch of music we've had since 2018. Why is he saying this? Now he's talking about Nigeria. He says Nigerian music suffered a blip in 2023, releasing comparatively vapid music, with many unable to fight at home or abroad for space. And now in 2024, after going through a month of heartbreaking new music Friday, I said I've overcome my sadness at the lack of <laughs> any new great find. Truth, very very hard truth. Mm-hmm. Very, very, very hard truth. Just a yantil, Malay, ni ruga, ni ya, ni no, no, no. And now in 2024, and in fact, right now, Afrobeat has, has become so Nigerian that there's even a look to it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There's a certain look to Afrobeat. If you want to sing Afrobeat, you must talk some way, sing some way, sing over some kind of rhythm. Mm-hmm. Uh, but people come at me with, but that's the evolution of music. Evolution my, of music? Anyway. Um, let me continue reading. It says that. It, uh, in its place lies a new occupant, concern. I love that line. It says, in its place lies a new occupant, <laughs> concern. Asamaba. He continues to write, I am bothered by the quality of our music. I'm a piano played its part. But after the oversaturation of the market last year, like how when you want to buy pure water, everybody they sell something. Mm. <laughs> we can't seem to find anything inspirational to wean us off it and usher in a new era. Let's go to Bena Boy. Remember, mm. he says something, right? Mm-hmm. He says something about the about the content and the substance of yeah, Afrobeats. Yeah. Ah, trends are great as long as they continue to provide objectively great art i'm being i'm trying to do voice over pronounce correct correct pronunciations mm. i piano seems to have run its course just say a book of no it is it's gone off the track the trip has ended the trip has ended <laughs> give me the, the budget the, the price <laughs> the cost um and we're struggling badly he says everywhere you turn bad music hits you now the air and playlist are filled with the same formulaic slop Mm. same bounce Mm. same scenarios Mm. and themes let's teach you a bread oh (laughs) more (laughs) of bread more of a fly cast if we make good show face hey Everything is negatively samey. Now, before I continue reading, come back to me for a second. Let me just bring in, um, and because of what Julia Khan is saying, Havana was released recently. Mm. Beautiful, beautiful EP. Olive the Boy, Havana. Olive the Boy. Fantastic project. Beautiful sweet, EP. Sweet project. But because of, I roll back to oversaturation of the industry, the bounce, scenarios, the themes, it's now making everything lost in this big forest called Afrobeats. So even when you hear good music, 
You close your eyes, you can't even tell who is the one singing. Whether it's is it is that Ruga or I, I is that I disagree by the way, man. Uh, mm. Me, I can't tell you. I don't, I don't think it's oversaturation, but let's. But go. I would that one, no. But mm. when I close my eyes, I don't know who is singing, no. Yeah, yeah. yeah Sometimes yeah. they say it's uh, what are the other names? Ruga, Malay, yeah, yeah. Malay, the same person. Rema. Rema, the, the same. person. person. <laughs> Jay, that, Jay never can tell that. No, I can never tell, man. Yeah. I mean, uh, they are well, different. I blame our cultural engagement with Amapiano for its role. I also factor in the lack of hunger in our established as a blown artistic class. Now, due to Afrobeats, the world flooding the market with unrealized investments, everyone is chilling and dropping the same music. Hey, Charlie, what did the guy eat? Hmm. Dude, wait, some... when, when, he, when he's in his game, the regardless. Or worse, microwaving a hackneyed vibe. Now, the result of uh, the results, an overstimulated consumer, hazy from the abundance of art, but finding very little of value to them. Before I even continue, so, okay, let me just continue. He says, that's why the audience isn't picking up on the music. Your wavelength isn't given. Mm. They are worrying. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, you see, come at me for a second. So, Preamble is not done though, but there are about three parts of the preamble. So this yes. is the first one. So the now the thing is the pre pre preamble. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to so say for the thing is, preamble. That's the, the thing is that we all hailed or we are still hailing the world's sudden grasp of African music as Afrobeats. Everybody's talking Afrobeats. What about Bobo? Bobo mm. Bobo beats. Bobo bo- bo- beats. You know why? Somebody will say, "Oh, gee, but I can't come with Bobo." Bo- bo- no, no, hold on. Let me finish. You understand me? Because when you look into other markets, the, v- the variety gives rise for one, com- a healthy comp- competitive market. Two, there's enough for everybody to grasp and enjoy. There's country music, there's pop, there's this, there's that, there's this, there's that. So you see, <laughs> right now if, you want to do, if you want to do a, a concert in Africa, it has to be driven by Afrobeat. Anyway, let's continue. Now, the result of an overstimulated consumer hazy. Uh, okay, I read that bit already. So let's go. He says, I don't know how to end this, but he's ending it though. Mm-hmm. But new music Friday doesn't slap like it used to. I'm sure it's a, it's a something in Nigeria, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, it's, 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 it's Apple it's, Music. It's, yeah. yeah, Apple, Apple music, music, Spotify. World, oh, worldwide or general. Yeah. I think I'm the streaming platforms. Available. You know, every so the the ideology is or the understanding is every music streaming platform has um, a playlist called New, new Music Friday because it's believed that artists drop their records on Fridays. Yeah, right. Them, so yeah. they have a playlist for each of the music platforms mm-hmm. where. You get to discover new music on on Fridays. That's it says the one place I go to find joy has become corrupted with repetition. <laughs> Ajay. The past is currently looking better than the future. Sheesh. And I fear that we might have peaked in this cycle. Okay. So this is the first part of the preamble, right? Production if you can put um Basito Street first before we do Amish Street. Basito, who happens to be um, uh, a cultural influencer as well in Nigeria, also had um, a different view to, to this conversation. He says, Afrobeats hasn't peaked yet. Our artists are just fixated on creating sounds that would go viral on TikTok yes. with transition challenges. He says yes. what? Afrobeats mm-hmm. hasn't peaked yet. Mm-hmm. Our our artists are just fixated on creating sounds that would go viral on TikTok with transition challenges. That is the peak. <laughs> mm-hmm. He has shot so, himself in the... So that me, is so me, the peak. Let me finish what I You can. finish it, I want please. to establish all the preamble. So production, if you can kindly put the tweet up so that it wouldn't look like I'm reading it from... Ah, uh, well, uh, well, they say they're putting it up. Okay. So you can... It's still loading up. All right. So it says, this has limited artists and producers creative minds and it says enter a club in nigeria and you would hear more amapiano songs than afro beats where uh okay people can only sing people the viral part sing the viral part of the songs only. yeah and he, said, he repeats that again. now you see Olele, b- so beautiful tweet from basito yes now the sweet part of everything that he has put up there <laughs> is, what is that Afrobeat hasn't been yet. Our artist just fixed it on creating sound that would go viral on it. That, that is the peak. That is the peak. Okay. Now let's go to peak. let's go back to Joya Khan's um second part of the tweets on Amapiano. Um he says that Amapiano came 
and the production can help me out with that one so this is a three-part conversation that we or the three-part preamble we are looking at and so joey says my piano came into nigeria as a trojan horse the log drums and whelming whelming beat passing um oops okay there you go okay jay i think let me put it up for you so yes. it says my piano came into nigeria as a trojan horse now the log drum and whelming beat pattern offered us a glimpse into a new era for our pop music beautiful ah joey i, I fall in love with you thank you <laughs> one in which we could bounce to novelty carried to heady highs by just drumming nothing else ah, it's so poetic it also presented itself a creative canvas sweet white noise ow a blank oh. sonic space on which you can layer anything he says doesn't matter if you could hold a note <laughs> just know how to bounce and ride a wave and see so you must agree by force yeah. and the beat brings it home for the audience ow boom 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 you know you know the, when the bass drum uh, drop in there oh my days it, it goes on to say now we thought we could do whatever we've always done find pockets to litter with our homegrown elements from words to melody slangs to uh invectives crowd vocals to colloquial po uh, poetry we piloted it up spliced it it says sliced and diced <laughs> uh, 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 to create novel versions of ourselves in it ah, i'm following him after, the, after this morning and for a while we thrived and my piano has given us many blessings or formed the bedrock of new energy before i continue serial you see how we are in the final loop uh, or the final year or you know for the governance you know like election was coming soon <laughs> you see our governments quickly in uh, in past four years governments quickly wake up and then everything is working giddy, 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 giddy. so that's what's happening to Amapiano. piano like we you know we are we are at, at the end we are trying to do this before the next era the next era comes ashake and his spectacular projects shali poppy's crystallization kc's new life the goody highs of good banter with the South Africans and some great art along the way. But while we danced and made merry, our piano sunk its fangs. Yes, we've become addicted to its formulaic ways that many of us have completely forgotten how to do anything else. You would get into it. If you're a producer, beat maker, you know what I'm talking about. You get into the studio. Your first drums, a few years ago, you were looking at playing different kind of rhythms. Mm -hmm. you, were, you were bursting with creativity. But trends changed us. Some might argue, but there was a Jama era in Ghana. Hold on. Were you a producer? Mm -hmm. Did you play BD4? Mm -hmm. Stop talking, my brother. Mm -hmm. Our diversity limbs, our clubs don't carry our sound. And everything speeds through and past you. That is, has all become a blur. We've turned artistry into blue-collar factory work. Ay, Joey. Cranking out music from label-created assembly lines, a.k.a. camps. <laughs> the consequence of this stretched far beyond the creative contracts into business. We are now regressing. We can't mint new stars, and nothing is sticking beyond the moment. That is why people like uh, our artists, like um, uh, AI, AC and co. Mm. No, they get attention because I want to. Bakuna. No one did. Can I forget? Yes, if. Here we know how we do. Here we hear. Forget. Let me go on. It says no one on the mainstream is creating future facing work <clears throat> or toiling on the fringes of a new sound to advance our culture. One trick tried to maintain a certain type of music. We left him. I'm on available. We no longer have the biggest records on the continent. We are no longer leading. What's even sad is that now the Americans are eating into our space. CEO said this. Beyonce them. See, you know, Beyonce can dance small before in video inside with some song where he do some small lookout dance. You guy, he shake with small. Timberland do small TikTok video to look for some small African artists based on small rhythm. No, we shake. You know what's going to happen? Hmm. Bulldog, are you listening to me? Simply put, we are stuck. 
Now, as a creative class, as a business class, and as a consumer class, and I put it to you out there watching who is saying that, Jay, you're wrong, Joey is wrong, I know you are saying this because you say there's evolution of music, but yaka. Do not confuse evolution to get it stuck to find something new. Don't. Diminishing marginal utility has set in and oversaturation has killed our appetite. Last paragraph. That's why Afrobeat is currently cooked. We are addicted to our piano and it has stripped us of our curiosity. Okay, so now the final preamble. One of the days <laughs> when, <laughs> when you enter studio, you want to make music in three minutes. The final part of the preamble, Jay. Yes. Is what um by the way I'm sick. As I'm, I'm doing all this, I'm not okay. I'm not well. <laughs> the final part of the preamble, which is um a tweet by at the E H M D underscore on X. He says Afrobeats is due for a sonic reset, but who is going to make the first move? So today the question we're asking ourselves is is Afrobeats due for a sonic reset? On that note, I'm unavailable. Ah. <laughs> them know they see me <laughs> it's afrobeat due for a sonic reset you know i had been sitting in this seat and confidently saying regardless of what the world was going to tell me because now we are developing thick skin to some things being also rightfully vocal and sharing our opinions on matters mm. without fear or fever we'll put it as it is that in a conversation i remember i was having with other industry colleagues and I was saying that Afrobeats is not a representation of who we are. Maybe it's giving the, the world attention to us, but I fear the worst because knowing us as Africans as well, we are quick to let go of what we truly are. So I remember in other conversations, we're drumming hard on high life music and we're like, yes, but Afrobeats has got elements of high life music in it and all. Agreed. Of course, why not? There's cement in building, right? Hmm. Yeah. So elements of cement they build inside make it make it stand no problem but truth be told when there's a crack in the wall you don't paint it do you mm. no you don't paint it you chisel the, the mortar and get to the cement block mm. and patch it don't you we shall go and find the crack in the music and give opportunity diverse opportunity open it up again and represent or present to the world again who we truly are. Because with the over 600 rhythms that have been stated in this country, when we had our, our, our day on Wednesday De um, with Dela Bucci, where he said, for 600 rhythms in this country, just imagine what we could have done, what we can do. Anyway, Cyril, mm. uh, honorable. I'm just putting some points across, yeah? Yeah, yeah, putting some points across it. Then let me hold on with Honorable for you. Oh, you want to Honorable? Honorable, Honorable. Honorable. Okay, Honorable. <clears throat> Honorable, please, your opinion on all the matters. I've mean, said my part. Uh, yeah, I agree mostly. <clears throat> I agree mostly with everything that's been said. And uh, I think we've, we, we we preempted this in a few we're ways. We're hey, yeah. yeah, the way he's yeah. demeaning. <laughs> thank you, thank you. And thank you for hosting me on the show this morning. <laughs> you wear your hat like Kofi Bayou. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Talking about Kofi Bayou. Have you seen see his slippers? I think around. it's in America, I think. Don't that Kofi Bayou. As I was saying. <laughs> aho, aho. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get into it. <laughs> yeah, so I had some points, right? So let me let me just run through it. Seven points, but I'll run it tell, tell, tell. You can enter when you want to enter. Uh, so I was saying music is no longer being made to satisfy a music audience. It's being made to complement social media content and content creators. Now, because we didn't notice when music became part of another industry, instead of being its own independent thing, with the onset and amplification of social media platforms, the moment music became an addition to complete your 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 reels and your your videos and your whatever is blah 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 it became about what sound it is what slogan what dance activation mm -hmm. it was no longer about the music it was no longer about good writing it was no longer about uh, good uh, production it was no longer about instrumentation so when did innovation. this happen so this happened when we we moved away innovatively ironically right when we moved away from People, when we move based on people's inability to engage mainstream media, 
primarily because of budget. There was a time where you had to get your song, if you were to be a respected artist, you had to get your song on TV, MTV Base, Trace, Channel O, blah, 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 blah. Sound City. Sound City. That's when your song is there. You tell the whole world, Charlie, Sound City, 4 o'clock, they go do fresh playlists at the inside. It was a big deal because there was a filter. There were A and R's. There were music experts. There were sound. Uh, these, uh, there various were people, levels of various levels of yeah. fil filtering and yeah. review that made yeah. sure that so yeah, you knew that your you knew that your songwriting had to be on point. You knew that your visuals had to be on point. You knew that your 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 writing etc. Now people shoot anything, and the moment they find out they are done editing and it's mediocre, they say, "Oh, it's just a lyrics video." Relax. Yes. What's that one? Visualizer. Visualizer. Oh, I should stop eh? Please, more fire, more fire. Aha. Uh -huh. You table. understand? Yeah. We, we, gone are the days where you didn't want a visualizer. Mm -hmm. At best, you do some lyric video, let them type your lyrics so that people learn the words of the song while you work on a music video. You had one shot. You drop your video, you know, drop the video. Now there's a lyric video, there's a visualizer, there's a this. Because, because the value of an actual music video is lost. If I can get 100 million hits on TikTok with all this. Why am I going to spend fifty thousand dollars on a music video if I don't want to monetize YouTube and get money? So putting out a video now is about: Do I have the numbers to rack up and make value of my monetization on my YouTube? If I don't, music videos are gone. Why write a song and call five writers who are going to give me poetic? Uh, you are my African queen, the girl of my dreams. Why, why do I have to go through that meticulous process if all they want to hear on the 15 second TikTok. Mm -mm, what? No, no. What? Mm -mm, what? You, no, you get no, what I'm no. saying? Yeah. So Gali. that becomes the main problem. Value for the actual art is gone. Nobody cares. It's about how does your creation now fit into the bigger picture? Because the bigger picture is the digital media landscape. Music as a standalone now is becoming niche. That you are going to listen to music just for music's value. I dare any artist on this continent to release a song like the way songs were released, albums were released. Forget that TikTok exists. Forget that Facebook exists. Release a good song. The let the effect. song succeed how music succeeds and let people take it where they want to take. Don't start your song while you are listening to the beat in the studio thinking about TikTok because they are not making music. You are trying to score people's content, content creation. It's like we are doing radio commercials. It's like you're trying to see which part works for three music. And that snippet of... When you do a jingle, you don't want an award-winning song. You want a 10-second that people remember, and that's what they are doing. They're doing jingles. Hey. Hey, it's the snow. It's the, when I say they are doing, when I say they are doing jingles, it's not. A, I'm not. I don't mean disrespect by it. I'm saying that. But he's describing the kind of the purpose with which they are approaching yeah, yeah. the art, right? Because when you are doing a brand jingle, you make me feel cool. Okay, okay. When you are doing a brand jingle, right? You don't have three minutes of time to tell people about the beautiful yeah. microphone and the aesthetic and the cabling and the gold. You have 15 seconds. So cable, cable, gold, 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 gold. But song is done. Once that part far, the rest of the song there can be means. Oh, they watch cable go. Yes. Night time. Before they cut them. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? So that's my first point. Now, second point is the table is a so template. You know cable gold. No. She says we you have done those. Since the Gen Z baby, I wasn't girl. born. Mm. Oh, you know cable gold. No. In the evening, what's the was on cable gold? I don't know. It was a type of biscuit. Mm. Mm. <laughs> he doesn't know it. That I beg you. Him. It's biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> it was biscuit before it became biscuit. Ah, you never went to someone's house. There was a big satellite house. Like. <laughs> As yeah, that talking one, to is the that moon. one cable goes? Talking to the moon. Cyril has some in his old office. The one Black yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Big one. Is that the one? Yeah. No, yeah I went to my old office. No, okay, so cable No, there was that and then there was cable goes. Cable 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 cable. cable. yeah, cable. cable. I don't know, you know, this is my small girl. She's been around. She's been in my office. Yeah. Like I don't know. <laughs> you don't know about cable I really don't know about that. So cable goes was plugged to your house by via cable. It was like like how you're watching DSP. Yes, they for wire for you. They wire for you. That's why it's your house. The money you need. Now when they wire your house. It does. Hey, mm, yeah, in Ghana. Yeah. Spintex. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, 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 uh, wow. yeah. And back in, I don't know about now because I'm not on there, but back yeah. in those times, in the evening on cable got after 10 o'clock. Mm -hmm. Oh, my ah. days. Yeah, oh, they went, on it. They went, we'll talk but about it later. Oh, but after 10, that's adult content. Right? Yes, that's exactly. Yeah. That's yeah. exactly. Yeah. I can't yeah. say what it is. I'm not guessing what that is. But I wanted to speak on, see, we said we can enter 
or you okay. want to finish all your seven no, no 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 enter then i enter, I enter, then we the enter. The okay. i feel oh, like no, no, in as much as people are doing what we call microwave music right there are still people who are putting you know a lot of work into whatever they are doing Definitely. so it's not a generalization of that again um not to say he is generalized, you have to right? Cook it. There's you have to that cook it. as well. What do you say? You have to cook the food first before you can microwave it. They are not cooking it. They are just microwave. They're doing instant, it instant, instant music. But that's what add we hot refer water. to as microwave just music. Just add TikTok. That's Where that. even even <laughs> using a typical example as this medical okay, so one thing came up when just a couple of days ago. And if um the song was released yesterday and then they are saying that it's a supposed this to Okay, so one, that's a typical example of microwave music. But you guys should correct me if I'm wrong. Um, a couple of years back, music takes a lot of time to be made, doesn't it? You yeah, know, a couple starts. of weeks, a couple of months. People want to, you know, have a certain quality and finesse when it comes to their music, which we don't have now, right? Again, um, I think that it's not, you know, an everybody thing, right? Because there are so many other people who are creating, you know, and pouring their heart into it and not thinking about TikTok first. Yes, but before those even get writing the song, right? They don't get attention, but there's a thing about quality against quantity where these songs that are not microwave music can be played in the next 10, 20, 50 years even yes. and will still reverberate with that compared to the one that says, um, Nika, Nika. You know, where, <laughs> where probably in the next maybe five years, the dance may have phased out, the song also may have which phased out. Which we've seen out, with Queto, right? which we've seen exactly. with Exactly. I just wanted so, yeah. to add to that. Yeah. It wasn't, yes. it's so, not like a, now, based, so before you continue, now based on what he's saying, the, we have to see it like this. So there are various governments that come into power to manage the economy. Mm -hmm. And each government comes into power and has its direction. Some directions work, other directions don't work. Mm, but yeah. we feel the long-term effect. So maybe things that happened in Ghana in 1980, we are still paying for it as today, of today. Yeah. And those things have caused decisions that have been made by present governments that has also now misled and all those things. Honorable. Now, honorable, honorable. Now come to the music space. There's no governance. Like what she was saying, a few years ago, there were uh, unauthorized but, uh, but legal governing bodies, if I can call them like that. Structure. So before I get my song to the top, it would have gone through these various filters. And, and these filters process. would have helped the world agree um, that I am deserving that of this, this is This is what we must be playing now. So we could have, we could have appreciate more the Michael Jacksons and Kobe because the filters that they had gone through to get to the stages that they are at mm -hmm. made us appreciate music. In the past week, I've been playing in my car a, a lot of old school music. And I've been listening to, you know, the, the, the Joe Thomases and, and, and co. And then you listen to the writing skills and you bring it down now and you're asking yourself that, will I get music to translate what I really, my emotions to another person? Will I get music of today? If I, if I wanted to express my love for, for, for Lenny on Valentine's Day with music, with music of today, how many popular artists can I really use their music to convey that message like like me telling you all oh my life I pray for someone, someone like, like you maybe you would not I get, get the popular ones Good, so that's coming. why there's a rise so of alternative now, now what is happening is that because there are no more governing bodies okay and there are no more oh, I'll come to that there are no more governing bodies so <laughs> even if there are governing um, if there are governing bodies there are so many governing bodies Speak because, parliament has no tenure, because so. there is um, because there's social media everybody is now a governing direct body. to market yeah. so direct to consumer, so if sorry. 200 people 20 people decide that we like the song now that's it that's it that's there's nothing you can is. do about it they, and then they'll become the, the fans create camps 200 yeah. people know nothing about music yes about uh, the create <laughs> camps and then they would protect that music with their life and more. tell you that it becomes that's the, yeah. that's a new thing yeah. the, the new way to when go when the mix is bad when so the what is happening is now is that unfortunately the artists have now found out that listen i do not need all these governing bodies again to validate my music i can do it creates my own audience and then release my music and because of that they some, some of these artists themselves who are not musicians as a result of unemployment Eesh. are just some are just at home people you, you hear people singing and they're not that they don't have back in the day for you to sing, sing you have to sing you have to you know how to sing but now once just because i can hum a tune that means i that doesn't mean i can i can sing yeah. you understand i mm -hmm. can create a tune and go into i can put lyrics together but now we've moved past those areas now there are softwares that are even shaping the the, the, the the voices for us so we don't mm -hmm. even need to know how to sing to do it so times are changing now yeah. these times are changing and unfortunately there's nobody sitting down to say that hey wait wait well hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on 
if we don't take care in five years time what we think music was will not be it again like what's your very first point he said Mm -hmm. that what was the purpose of music this is food for the soul this is food for the soul this is not you 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 will love how many look at doc came here and spoke about fast foods and junk foods and its effect but but you see Mm -hmm. but we are we are creating fast fast music fast food music now it's also the question is that is this fast food music feeding well if i'm just being biblical and spiritual are these fast food musics feeding us somebody will say ah jay what are you saying i'm telling i'm saying that people are going through things depression stress frustration want to find an escape with music songs that are healing Mm-hmm. Do you f- how many of such songs do you find now? They are ex- in existence, oh, well, but the world well, does not Afro-Nisian. does not mm-hmm. the, uh, but does not give commercial value to those songs. So what's happening? We are feeding off a lot of quick, 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 quick. Let me, quick let me music. use that. Let me use a local. Example, aren't you right? lastly? Aren't yeah. you afraid the speed at which it is going? Aren't you afraid of what is going to become in the near future? That very soon we don't have any validation bodies. Any any people any filters in our spaces again we are lacking what is human we are letting it go w- wait Did, I'm, I'm, I'm trumpets, I'm trumpets, I'm trumpets I'm used to okay. announce trumpets used to announce mm-hmm. go back to ancient greek time it used to it, they, they had meanings musical instruments had meanings what do you what do you use them for how do you use a trumpet in your music it has a meaning because you want to but now all those things are being challenged reused changed look at how we even spoke about gen z bible and all these things yeah. Go and type bassing. Everything and is losing see the arguments under bassing. See the arguments under the word bassing. You'll be surprised at what the world, mm-hmm. what why people are asking, how can we change and bring a new word bassing and let it mean very, very good? I'm telling you, that's what the world is getting to. It's getting to a space where it's so fast mm-hmm. that we humans can't mm-hmm. even catch up with the speed. Yeah. Let me praise my anyway. two brothers. When Famille released the song, uh, praise wow, the you had, I had, I had, I had Hallelujah. It wasn't about TikTok. We, 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 people felt that when you listen to it, you, it was f- authentic, you feel something. You're like, you're like, wow, this is, a, yeah. this is a song. Let me, I'm feeling this way. Let me play this song. This lyrics, um, uh, Kinates one, the one about the, the one that they went to church about the other club. Um, I forgot the title. The video was in the church. Oh, I, 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 I remember which one. The one that talks about, um, Jesus, take the wheel. Hold on, hold on. What's that? Hold on. Oh uh, baby, no, that's not it. Okay. It's the Kinata? one that, uh, yeah, 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 Kinata. the one that yeah. speaks on um, the uh, churches, the churches building yeah. schools that the church members can't attend and all that. We love the song without. We like didn't it. care whether it was on TikTok or not, right? Mm-hmm. So to my second point, we are reusing the template, right? Everybody is reusing the template, and the template lacks substance. Back in the day, there was no template. Innovation was the in, innovation was the defining moment of musical success things fall apart yes right apart. thank it, you it told a story it was social commentary was good writing then that yeah. win song of the year or yeah. best writer best writer um, writer you understand because work be work right of the year i think yeah. work be work mm-hmm. right so back in the day competition mm-hmm. was the defining moment pharrell timberland scott storch dre mm-hmm. they were different that is why they were all great mm-hmm. If everybody in that era said they Pharrell were was that's popping, why they were all, I'm thinking yeah. that they were different. That's why they were all great. You understand? Mm. If everybody said, "Oh, Timbaland in, in style, the pop now," so let me copy ev- it. the whole everybody's going to, then I like, wouldn't have any, any anybody to celebrate. Just imagine the whole <coughs> of Timbaland's music and yeah. saying that this is the new generation of American music. music. So, so we are all, all behind the, it. That's what we literally exactly. that's, that's what, what we happening. are doing. In Africa. That's why I said Afrobeat. No, yeah. yes, that's what we are doing. I want to ask a question, Cyril. On that point, is it when we say? um they were different because they were all great. It was still under one genre, right? Which was hip hop. Genre does not define your style of, of expression. Authenticity. I think what he's yeah. talking so about. So, right, both tags and harmony, yes. right? Yeah. Was uh, was hip hop. It was hip hop. Jay Z yeah. was hip hop. DMX was, was hip hop. Nelly was hip hop. Right. But their style with which they expressed the genre so in was contrast different. So, what you're talking about mm-hmm. is it that the, <coughs> the, the 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 music of Afrobeats beats has been one way is it's the same think? tempo it's the same timing it's the same kind of uh, 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 drums uh, it's, it's the girl in Baka make her see your mama I love you turn around mm-hmm. Charlie, even the videos it's the same girls so bro it's the same girls they are by a pool they are by some car that's not for them yeah. like bro it's the same thing. I think if I, I turned off the music and I streamed up five music videos right now, you would see the same scenes. Yeah. There's a scene by a pool with a girl walking somewhere like she can't see she's on camera. 
<laughs> right? <laughs> They are in some living room. The guy is sitting down like he's the boss, and some girls are there talking by the side. Mm -hmm. oh, it's the same video. Yeah. It is all. I could literally take the sound from one video, slap it on another video, and there's nothing wrong. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with it. But when you watch the Basta Rhymes video, and he came and his nostril was on the camera, <laughs> right? <laughs> and then you watch a DMX video, and they're in the hood with pit bulls. Right? That's and you're like, okay. Different presentation of You understand? Right? Today I'm feeling so, like Basta so, Rhymes. So, Tomorrow I want to feel so like DMX. The reason I ask this is because. Do we do we take part in the blame in terms of how we, as in we like uh, the mean? voice of the culture, right? Where we have platforms that educate, you know, or how we've written the narrative of Afrobeats. Because if you ask me, this is not a generation I, that is big on let being me help educated. You. Let me, let me, not so that's that's what I'm saying. Hey. So so even if the generation is not big what? on being educated, <laughs> <laughs> do we Sally, you don't have to be honest on the show anymore. No no, no I, I'm just saying that. Do we take part <laughs> in the blame where we haven't? Like me, am I among of the taking part? I mean, let I'm me tell you, you know what we can't, you know what we can't, we can't be blamed for anything. Why? Let me help you out. I have been a producer before. I've mm -hmm. sat in the studio, and played beats. Mm -hmm. Now, the way we are, the way we, uh, how do I say? A few years ago, we're driven by the narratives. Like we, we, we listen, we research. Mm. But what I've come to realize now is that the musician has grown so powerful, mm. and the musicians. Uh, uh, team, the producer, anybody in the value chain of music mm. has become so powerful that they are easily able to convince a group of 200 people mm. to just accept what they put they out put there. Out. Now, if you dare, you know why they have become uh, so powerful? They correct, crit criticize, then they come at you with, mm. What do you know? Who are you? Have you achieved anything so in your you life? So, the thing? question I'm asking is, should, <coughs> that, should that stop us from? Teach it's like oh, but like, we are teaching us, are we? Like, like, there's also there's like the police doing their job, and we telling them that they're doing too much. They're doing too much. I mean, the police on the street police should not care. Up. That's what I'm saying. So I'm saying that should we allow ourselves? No. To the the policeman's down? job is mm -hmm. to serve and protect. He's a watchman. That is his. That is his job. Yeah. Our job is not to come and serve and protect. A we watchman speak, watches yeah. over here. Our, our, our job, they don't define like that. <laughs> we, 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 no. we, we report what we see. I mean, I know I, I, the, yeah. the, the the term gatekeeping has been bastardized, but I think that is the whole essence of the question is that if you a media person, if you only speak about this thing now. Yeah. The fans will come at you because there's one megabyte data. Will come well, at you biases, and and biases, and, biases would and, and unfortunately, because negativity amplifies itself beautifully, yeah. that one tweet of an insult will be what everybody will pick <laughs> and feed off that and troll, laugh and go through all this. But I think so. Now, what are you? You're now stifled by you. You ask yourself that should I really even try to correct so we are all, this we again? Are all to take part of the blame. No, we can't take no, no, part no, of the no, blame no. any the longer are, because no, 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 I no. go down. That's why. Them. That's why. What the last said. I don't consume those things. Uh, um, I don't know how to. I, I don't know. This thing. <laughs> this thing busts <laughs> my mind a bit. I, I, I think it's consume. a sector I, of consumers. It's not all consumers that will take the blame. If, Look, if I mean, Olele is saying that consumers should see, because there are also consumers who know the Lenny, type of quality your, your, of music your, your, they are listening to. Your statement is flawed, right? Sorry, because I, yeah, I, I no, sat through, I no, sat I'm through asking, production. Yeah, I understand. I sat through productions, mm -hmm. um, and I'll pick someone like Hammer for example. And if I watch the the meticul the, the process that he he goes through, even when the song was done, not to say he's a that he's a god, no. Mm -hmm. Even when a song was done and you were sure that this song was done and we're driving, I remember very well, we're driving from Awudome to East Legon uh, to drop him off and when the car playing the music and you know this is done. This is Charlie Hammer. What again you want to do to this song? Mm. I'm not tell you that. He'll call the answer and say, Charlie, you know what? Charlie, I don't think the verse is... is. I'm like, ah, Hammer. What are you saying? This thing, this thing is no good. He said, no, 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 no. It's no good. I, I for, I for G, I for G, I'm for top. It's not going to work. I'm like, but Hammer, he says, no, I, no, I think I need some strings in there because the thing, you, you know, you're not going to stand me. You, and how often in most of the places the places i'm engaging now that i hear you don't hear these conversations you tell them to go and edit the beats cry warrior yeah you don't you don't it's, hear these conversations there's a lack of mentorship there is, and, and, and no understanding it's not lack of mentorship it's an over, over abundance Look, of attention yes. you see but i'm saying that, that it's like jay was saying the last time i think during the last conversation you said that you even asked about the same question yeah. like even the younger ones think because they've been able to learn their craft either by the internet or maybe it's an any talent they don't see the need to be mentored they don't see the need to understand it's because they are getting the attention without doing the work exactly. that's what i'm saying that's there's an overabundance like of example, attention like to, if jay, jay understands 
why Hama will say no, the song is not that, even though you know on site is it's that right but these these young producers as a creator artists, they don't have that kind of mentality. any creative any creative any creative yeah any creative starts at the end every creative knows what they what they want the end goal the end goal that's that's what sparks them to get to work right mm -hmm. i want to do the, 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 the. They, they, they see it in their mind's eye that's why they start the work when you mix that equation with constant gratification and the addiction to clout, steps will be skipped to arrive at that end goal quicker. If you work in isolation, gone are the days where artists will go and isolate themselves somewhere and work on music because they didn't want to be rushed. They wanted to get it right. They didn't want to be around people who would add them on and like fully saying, it's okay, it's okay, it's fine. It's, I what you want to add again, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Because the artist's vision is only in the artist's head. Now the artist's vision or the artist's goal, right, mm -hmm. is not musical perfection or musical success. It's clout and digital relevance. Musicians are becoming almost inseparable from content creators. <laughs> no, but because then now also Lenny, they are Lenny, saying that aside it. being a musician, Lenny, also have a lifestyle Lenny, that people some can of them, relate to. Lenny, you know. some of them invest more in what dance will go with the chorus than the lyrics. So the lyrics which can is be... A, which is wrong. Yes. We've said that and, time and, and we, again. And that's been the last four years. Almost everything has been the last four years. If we took most of the lyrics and put them down, I mean, I'm even shocked for the people who have been giving awards about best writing and things. Like, mm. they've not seen good writing before. Surely. If you take lyrics of, bro, give me the best three. This is to the viewers. When you watch this on YouTube or you are on our stream now, give me your best five written songs in the last two years, Ghana and Nigeria. Songs that, if it didn't trend on TikTok, if you didn't have a Timbaland on it, uh, uh, posting it on their video, or uh, an American celebrity listening to it in their car, or whatever, that on the merit of great songwriting. Give me five. Let me, see, on, on, that, on, that, on that tangent, let me ask you something. Do you think Alphabets, it's, it's basically dance music? It's basically... Alphabet is, from its inception, is had music. a plot, okay. which was social commentary mm -hmm. through the popularized expression of our traditional sounds, mm -hmm. that is fella, etc. Mm -hmm. There was a message to it, so people used it as a conduit but to express. But the fella's alphabet is different from it, what yes, we but that's but I'm it, talking it, about but what we are experiencing now because I feel like that's what I'm saying. That, as a that's what I'm saying. That there was a music. That, that was, that was, that was and also there's been an evolution there was a purpose. of what that's the what I'm genre saying that is. Every music was purpose, mm. was purpose driven. Okay, mm -hmm. Michael Jackson was telling a story. Celine Dion was telling a story. Uh, Stephen Wonder was telling a story. Usher was telling a story. Usher wove, uh, had woven his albums together like works of art where you click play and you don't even want to skip because the skit blends into the next song oh. and his girl was pregnant and yeah, called I've, him in I've the studio and then he confesses. Dance. You are not hearing me. No, I'm hearing you. I'm saying that. Have, when was the last time you, you listened to an Afrobeat album, mm -hmm. right? that followed a structure that was a, a one picture that was one portrait right mm -hmm. that had different beautiful segments give me no, one album. promises no. five star album is an amazing uh, project for no me. no you, what I, okay i think i understand one. what Cyril is talking about you know before if you're listening to a song Back there's a Boys, beautiful Westwood. like you're listening to an album the, there's yeah, a message an album there's a progression of you know how you can actually follow the story and, and it's not just and that's not this just about after the, this after that even though the titles are different yeah. so mm -hmm. i think that's what and it's not is and it's not just to. about people but, will say it's curation and that's playlisting and that's track listing and all mm -hmm. these things yes it is track listing and all this, but i'm saying that there is a unifying creative direction to every body of work but don't you also think that is because times and things are changing that there's been an evolution of you know what music is you know as we are seeing or we are hearing it now right so you can't exactly make that comparison of that is, what it that is, is now to what it that's was because before. the industries are crisscrossing now let me give you an example when we were at the the pulse influencer um awards Award. last year and we were looking at the nominees now people the public had to nominate right and there was a dance influencer who had featured in a tv commercial or in a few tv commercials mm -hmm. so some of the fans nominated this dance influencer in the actress was it actress or on screen something actress in the actress category mm -hmm. 
though she had acted, she was not an actress. Do you, do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. That is what we are doing now. The person is labeled musician, right? But 99.9% .9 of the brand is on TikTok and Instagram Reels. Do you understand what I'm but saying? Serving an audience. The people, the audience that exists on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, whatever, right? Is not a core music audience. It is a multimedia content audience. That is why various forms of media exist on these platforms. If you go on, uh, uh, on TikTok and you're a poetry fan, right? You can go to the poetry side and watch your spoken word and your poetry videos. If you're a dance fan, you can go. If you're a fashion fan, you can go. If you're a skit uh, maker or uh, uh, acting uh, dramatization fan, you can go. Do you get it? Mm -hmm. It's an amalgamation of everything creative, mm -hmm. right? So as a musician, where you go there now, you are searching to get some of this attention. Mm -hmm. And the things that define good music don't gather attention on these platforms. Mm -hmm. Excellent songwriting. Nobody has two minutes to scrutinize your song on TikTok. So you have to find five words that will catch attention that Lenny can use for skit, mm -hmm. that AC can use for her snap, and somebody will use to dance. So your goal of creating a song in the studio is no longer, it's, it's no longer about good music. No. It's not about the lyrics. It's not about anymore. lyrics. It's not about good music. It's not about orchestration. It's not about, wait, at the 147, we add the strings. Nobody, they can't listen to our music at 147. Everybody, they wait for the hook. Like you mm -hmm. said, they play songs in the club right and everybody's vibing until the chorus comes and all of a sudden everybody's a musician for mm -hmm. five seconds and everybody goes back to being down look you at this guy it. this nigerian guy the guy uh, who is always who's beefing the entire nigeria the <laughs> down the jane shirt we in this video say jane shirt where they sit down oh he has very what's his name very different music um Brimo. Uh, Brimo. Brimo. Yeah. People like Brimo yeah. wouldn't exist any longer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they wouldn't because yeah. the culture, see, the new culture of music see, wouldn't give them a chance that, to be. That brings me to what I said about quality versus Look at quantity. Asa. But today, Look at Asa. Brimo, yeah, Asa, Asa, you ask, still listen to their music. But when I asked today, the, yeah, you, how many people will listen to them? I still mm. listen to them. But when but you're you, talking about quality you, music, you, 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 you very, I, can count on, I can count on one hand, right? One hand. Songs that are as well put together. In the last three years, Ghana, Niger, as Asher's music, Asha, Asher's music, mm -hmm. or as a Brimo's music, or uh, maybe a Kojo entry, or uh, who, 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 even a Lumba, most of the songs she mentioned here yesterday were meticulously put together mm -hmm. from songwriting, placement, arrangement. The thought, the thought that went into it was layered. Storytelling. Now you're in the studio and you catch a vibe, that vibe, that phrase, without a plan of beginning or end. That is the whole song. Mm -hmm. That is the whole song. So like you're saying, it's instant noodles. When the water goes cold, we throw it away. That's why it's a new year mm -hmm. and we don't have any hit. Because the songs cannot stand the test of time. The songs have an expiry date. And the expiry date exactly. is how relevant can you stay on TikTok? How relevant can you stay on Instagram? Real. So it's on, on a reel. And even so with the, that. Artist, the artist's biggest pressure right now is not, I wrote this song. How do I elevate my poetry? How do I elevate my expression? How do I become more emotive? How do I make sure that people Lenny can listen to my song and shed a tear? That's not it. It's that Charlie, the, the views come down. Mm -hmm. Fully drop something, Charlie. Get 50,000 views for mm -hmm. do something where you see the way this girl dance to. The, the, the goal is different. We, it's like cars. Gone are the days where the car used to be about certain mechanical things. Mm -hmm. Now the car is about the uh, uh, experience of the interior. Your screen, your speakers, uh, the seat is. Why, why do I have a 15 way massaging seat? <laughs> I'm just going to test someone and come. What? But the other thing, you understand? Datsun, when Datsun made the car, they wanted the engine to last forever. You understand? <laughs> you understand? Mm -hmm. Now nobody cares about that. Is, that. is the seat leather? Is it real leather? Is it full? Like Charlie, the goals are changing. And the same thing is happening in, 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 uh, in, 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 in movies and in music, even in the movies. It used to be original stories, real depth to films was what made movies amazing. Now they are just rewriting everything. They are, they, 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 if it's not aliens or animation, America taking the world to get a, a, a remaking movie. things. But that's why and, I and speak when things. I say to get like an authentic, evolution, authentic movie like the way I, we used to get proper movie. That, that, that word, when remember when up, a Titan, a Titanic came out? Yeah, Titanic was such an authentic, emotive story that they even showed it at conference and then. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you remember. Eh. Mm -hmm. Lenny. I wasn't born. I went to watch Titanic at conference that they to enter and sit down and watch Titanic. Because it was mind-blowing. 
the depth of the when Sinless List came out, uh, Papillon movies that yeah, yeah. like hey, who Crazy. put these visuals together? Who was who is mm -hmm. telling Crazy. this? Right now is everything. You are there in the middle of America and the aliens last. Bish, 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 bish. They shoot for two hours. You are upon. Blue bullets. You understand? Yeah. That's it. So the whole world is lacking attention. And, I and think creators are responding to this lack of attention yeah. by making disposable creative content. I think when they said robots are going to control the world, we underestimated what we thought was going to be actually physical robots. No, no, no. no. It's changing cooking. our behavior. It's changing behavior. And mm. this behavior, and some, and, and you brought aware that the evolution, and that's what even scares me, because when you try to argue this out, people will say, but we are evolving, and evolution would come with that. So, yeah. so why would you? But the thing is that, Yes, and somebody might argue and say, what the world was yesterday isn't what well, we are supposed to be growing, right? So mm -hmm. allow the evolution to happen. Yeah. And changing but with scary, the times. But what's mm -hmm. scary with this evolution is that, at first, the, people, the people's attitude was the evolution. Yeah. Okay? But now, the AIs, the, the, the robotics, the, uh, un, the unseen... The algorithms, all that. Uh, yeah, unseen algorithms is now redefining... It's now forcing us to change our character. So now we are adhering mm -hmm. to what the, the the platforms are telling us to yeah. do and if we continue on this tangent a question will come to us in 2020 2030 will be somebody will ask you don't be surprised in fact 2050 don't be surprised if a kid in 2050 ask you lenny what is music what do you, what were you do people doing back in the day mm. you said you're listening to what a rhythm mm. who was that rhythm because now i'm listening to ice and uh once and what what do you call binaries mm. Uh, that's yes. what uh, cool. ones, and, ones, ones, and ones and zeros ones and zeros yeah. yes i'm listening to ones and zeros what, what do you call music mm -hmm. yeah. and then and then we'll be able to tell, but that's evolution we've evolved oh, we've stopped yeah. listening to so what is music it might not be a bad thing it might wow, just be you the way actually, life is going so wait you say, they'll tell you that wait so you were taking pen and paper what, what do you call pen pen to write ink mm -hmm. and you're writing you know, words what's the music when, in words when i can just when i can just go on an app and type compose uh Foley. an emotional music song for me words. Mm. do you remember music in words yeah remember music that, in book. Words. That, that book yes yeah. that's what's gonna that's happen important music then, was. then you lenny who is coming from the 90s or the 2000s is looking at that kid in 20 2050 and asking that are you really telling him that you don't know what music is you go like hey you don't know music hey music and the person said at you like mom <laughs> dad you are so freaking old like Music. What do you call music again? Mm. They say music is food for the soul. Do you know that the uh, God used music to communicate? With the, do you know? And he's like, like, what the hell? Do, right now we are listening to pretty, 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 pretty. Yeah, it's once and all. You know, you mentioned, you mentioned that's what I'm I saying, that the right. governance of the governance of music in the world now has changed. And back to Afro, back to Ghana, back to Africa. For us, even what's even scary now is that we only have one that we've put out to the world. And as the world is hailing that one that we have, we, we don't know that, that we are actually, we ourselves not being even being innovative on that one thank enough you, you. for us to be able to create multiple diverse kinds of the, music this, rhythms from it. This is exactly what I was going to say, uh -huh. right? What I've written down here is innovators are seen to be anti-pop culture. Yeah. When you have a Wallace mm -hmm. who is innovating, mm -hmm. we put a, take, take a big stamp and boom, alter, alternative, put yeah. it in this box. That's why I mentioned. When IAC comes and is innovating, or te, put them in this box. When a real a real boss is SD innovating, legend. we boom, put them in this box. So if you are not co in compliance, if you are not copying and joining the head, right, we have now created a section for you that is a section that is deserving of less attention. Yeah. So we start using words like niche fan base, intimate show, community. What, what, you, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Why? I can't have 5,000 people in the room and still be intimate. When mm -hmm. when uh, 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 boys to men used to fill stadiums, and women would cry and be throwing their bras on stage, it wasn't intimate. When hundred thousand people were there, eh, and women would go crazy for uh, uh, Backstreet Boys, mm -hmm. Westlife, mm -hmm. in sync, it wasn't intimate. Mm -hmm. But you are telling me that because Foley's music is so unique, you, know, you should get some small room yeah, and call fifteen niche. people, and it's intimate show. So right now, so if you are not pop culture, yeah, right now mass music is is cheap music. Yes. Which but at first it wasn't so. You and but you see, for the back, people that we've labeled as alternative, there's also that possibility of, you know, a blowing for them. Typical example will be Amare. Or Black Sheriff. Right? Or Black Sheriff, exactly. Because then they were not doing what we all know as, you know, Afrobeat, right? So I feel like there is still that market. We all only also have to open up our minds to the possibility of people, you know, making music and not only making afro beats and not only saying that it's about um, how well you, you can know sustain. if you're not making afro you beats see, then you're not, you don't have that um, the people, leeway to blow in this life 
in, in the, in because the, some of these alternative people can stay in that basket for the rest of their life. In the, in the inception of your, your uniqueness, when you break out first, you have two choices. You lead us along on your journey, right? Or you or later you, tap or, into. Or, or, or you could talk to what is happening yeah. and try and be a people pleaser. The reason why a brand like Sheriff is where he is now and winning is because when he broke out as a spectacle, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, Sheriff was not driven about doing TikTok content no, for us. at all. He states telling his story. What do we know about Black Sheriff? He fell in love with his story, his writing, his cadence, his 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 his, his voice, right? Artistry is what he stuck to. Just like Sarkodie, hey. there were mm -hmm. many people uh, mm -hmm. rapping when Sarkodie came, mm -hmm. but he stuck to it. When Lord Kenya came, his uniqueness is what sold him. When TikTok came, his uniqueness is what sold him. When Tiny came, when EL came, Edem. when Trigmatic came, when Edem came, mm -hmm. his uniqueness is what sold him. When Papi came, when uh, Kenata came, when Fap uniqueness is the only key. So if you are looking at what is trending on TikTok with 5 million views and you are going to go and do some, boss, you've poured hot water on the noodles. I bet Joe mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. So uniqueness is what sells. And when you get that point of inception where people are like, whoa, you hear mm -hmm. the Sappho Newman guy? Mm -hmm. Sappho yeah. Newman's goal should be to stay Sappho Newman. The day Sappho Newman starts worrying about TikTok views, it has been with mm -hmm. a fry plantain joint. Mm -hmm. You understand, and that is what the problem because is. Because a lot of people, there was a story in his music. Yeah, story. There was a, a lot of people story. are going to there studio was, there because was they want clout. Yeah, there was there was purpose, there was meaning yes. to the song that he did. Born from honesty. And born from honesty, and the people could relate to it because that was that was the real life happening. Somebody would say, "But we're not doing all about real life happenings." It's true. It's fine. Um, this one from Kwabena Radio Arthur. I see you on on Facebook Live with Assessa, uh, and, and, and a point we all shared earlier on the difference in this age is the easy access to platforms which has given fans and audiences the right to have an opinion uh, and everything as compared to then times where I'm just seeing something rest in yes. peace KK Kabobo ah oh he's, he's, he's passed oh. on can you can you verify for me I just saw it on the platform oh oh that's sad oh God rest his soul. I'm just, I just see on an uh, alliance platform oh my days sorry to have cut you oh. oh my days oh my days so unconfirmed reports coming in is uh is KK Kabobo dead. Um, we'll yeah. try and verify. Oh, the enter, the internet, yeah. enter the internet for me, I beg you. Yeah. Oh. So, um, yeah, so as I read on, it says, uh, let's, now, let's not forget now, music is not just about the music anymore, but there are certain new twists to the music business. Is the business overtaking what music is supposed to be for? And like I say again, my point, which I come to again and again and again, in 2050, I think confirmed okay, as well city, now. City News has confirmed. It's confirmed oh, that KK Kabubo has passed on. May another his soul rest. Yeah, another great God one. May his soul, soul rest in perfect peace. Um, uh, production, can we pull out a song? Uh, his very popular, very popular. Um, mm. uh, what do you call the title of the song? Um, uh, nyati 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 nyati. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's all right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, KK Kabubo. Yeah, May his soul rest in perfect peace. Anyway, um, so we'll move on. It's 9.45 though. Yes, yeah, still reading comments. Now, KK Kabo, we're talking about uniqueness. 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 Talking about uniqueness. Look, even though, you know... Doesn't get any more unique than KK Kabo. Yesterday, when she was <laughs> telling us about, you know, how she coined up her own words and stuff mm. like that, you know, like, there were things that created this level of... Yeah. Like, things were different. And you know, the gibberish and that I'm, she puts I'm, in the song yeah. is the part we all learned and we sang the learned. most. Yes, exactly. And like I'm saying, I'm, I've been listening to some old school music in, in, in this whole week. I mean, uh, and you listen to, um, again, I'm going back to Joe Thomas because I'm a big fan of Joe Thomas, for example. And I was asking myself, wait, so what am I going to use? What, what words am I going to use? What songs am I going to use to communicate? Um, so, Foley, did you ever call like, a girlfriend on the landline and, and put the phone on music? Yeah, and, yeah, just, and listen to music. Charlie, mm -hmm. would they send a book? Lenny, you're laughing. Did you about? <laughs> no, I, 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 oh, Charlie. If, <coughs> if, um, if Lenny, yeah, Lenny, okay. if no, we'll women, take. they're laughing in if, flashbacks. If, if words, yeah. uh, what, what, do call, what do you call it? Words of affirmation, right? Women, women will go for, yeah, like words if yeah. of affirmation, right? Yeah, is that how you put it? Yeah, for words women? of affirmation. Yes, if that is what thrives in winning a woman's heart. In, in communicating words of affirmation, words of love, in this day and age, tell me which art, how many artists' music, if you had a deck of artists, how many artists can you pick their lyrics and use to tell for me to, if I were really in love with Lenny, would I use to talk to Lenny and tell Lenny that, like, I can't say it, but let the song speak my emotions for me? 
-hmm. Let the song say it as it is. Wh who are you going to use? You wouldn't have that now. <laughs> No, you wouldn't yeah, have that to, now. You you to need to now go <laughs> back in the day to get you know a song that will fit. You might find whatever one or two. Me, but I, I wanted to say that um, Afrobeats is is currently Africa's pop music or Africa's pop popular music, and the elements of Afrobeats music, not the one for Fela, um, champion, but the elements of the ones that the new generation or the millennials have danced and jammed to. I think has become more or less like dance music, what Azonto could have been, right? Because every Afrobeats record you hear is something that would cause you to move your feet to dance. And sort of course you have artists like the Omalays and the, you know, um, and the, the Brimos and the, um, you know, some of these artists who the want to be, are not internet, who, you know. who want to be very um, focused on so their songwriting skills and churn out stories that you could listen to. And I think there's provision for that. I think there's enough music for consumers to identify and choose to listen to songs that will make them feel however they want to feel, whether it's under the guise of Afrobeats or not. You know, we, we just happen to find ourselves in a place where um, there has been... That's the reason why I kept talking about our fault and our fault is the fact that there's been an unfortunate perception that I think has gone wrong. And the fact is, we have positioned a particular type of music as the only representation of Afrobeats. Didn't I see this thing? Now, I'm not saying that's, that... that is Because it, even... That there was a point... Sorry, didn't I say that what's going to happen is that maybe Afrobeats might invite the world to Africa and then open up to really what we have. Yes. And then the world will now start choosing so, what exactly defines exactly. us. Exactly. So but when I'm, the world starts choosing for us, this yes. colonization might have been that. That is what, that does, that's what I'm getting to, that... The, the 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 thirst for a reset and the, the call for a reset wouldn't be necessary if we look within and allow other genres to have their place and their space Do you get what i'm saying i'm talking about a time where fuji music and hip life music can coexist on the same um what you would call it um, platform afrobeat should be the channel or the gate or the door that people will get to know about more African music. So if maybe an Ashake song is doing great outside Nigeria or outside Africa and the world comes to Africa, the world comes to Nigeria or Ghana, we should be able to have other general music that can also keep the curiosity afloat. Can I ask you a question? But if we still maintain the focus on yeah. just dance, 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 can I dance, ask a dance, scary dance, question. Dance. Very scary question. Um, they say the devil's uh, biggest trick on a human was what? Convincing the world didn't exist. That's, that, that, <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I, it's a very dangerous question I'm going to ask, but let me just go ahead and ask it. Mm -hmm. I hope I coined it in the right well, in the right words. Um, do you think, me and my, my questions, these questions are the ones that put me in trouble. Mm -hmm. no? <laughs> do you think that if the West realized that you had gold, Right, mm -hmm. they, and they needed it, which has been the case in all, all the all the time. They'll bring you democracy quickly. They'll, <laughs> <laughs> they'll present to you something. Does the does the West want Africa to rule? I'm just asking. Well, well, well I mean, <laughs> I mean, Kwame Kumar said that the black man is here of my money's own affairs. But as we as we sit right now, the Chinese, the Americans, the Russians have already invaded. You know, different uh, uh, uh are remotely colonizing, you know, African countries. That is, that is, the, those are facts that are out there, right? We yeah. heavily dependent, we, de we are heavily dependent on their resource, their financial resources to for us to survive. Yeah. Hence the reason why we had things like LGBT inside because of what we had those mm. things and all these things. Mm. All right. So now at least I'm just cementing these facts there. So, do you think that, based on this, I'm telling you, do you mm. think I beg you, I just ask you, mm -hmm. or God just want to ask you, mm -hmm. do you think? that the west is ready to let afrobeats rule do you think the west is really ready to let burner boy rule i mean if, if play the play think think it through very carefully before you answer me unless i'm saying that jay it or depends, to let you it feel you are in control on which side of the divide you are on obviously from an african side i'll be biased to say 
the West wouldn't want to do that because of um, culture vultures, right? They would want to take what you have, and because they already have a market, they already have a mass market, they now even determine the rules of your engagement if you want to enter their market. Is Bernard Boy you see an what? African artist or an American artist? He's an African artist, yes. but now he'll be seen as an African-American mm. Global. artist. Mm. You, even, even. even Amari. Amari is a Ghanaian artist, but because of positioning, he, she has to be seen as a Ghanaian what constitutes, American artist. What constitutes you qualifying to get a Grammy? The basic. The song must be what? <laughs> I, I, I don't even believe those must things. Must be released again. in America, it, right? I, I don't even believe those things. Must I feel be like born, politics are for you to become an American. Must be born to, in America, right? Even to right? buttress my point on yes. the fact, you, you, you notice the narrative after Bernard Boy had to seek the services of P, uh, of Didi to produce his album. As an, executive, Minute, producer. as an executive producer, that alone tells you that you see who's really in control. Who's re- I mean, you that's see, the thing is, but the thing is, who's really in control? America, America is arguably is the most Africa in control. Well, you know I mean, why? You know why? You know why we keep giving control to them? Because we lack the confidence to stay where we are and do the hard work and turn our dirty parts to paradise. So the moment we have something that is of value, whether it's intellect, whether it's innovation, whether it's creativity, we quickly want to ship it outside to the West. And that's because and get we... get instant value. And the same way we want to ship our songs to TikTok to get instant gratification. Yeah, that's no, and, that, and that's because we, as individuals within this continent... TikTok might be facing the ban, by the way. in terms of in erecting America, yeah. the structures that will give us our own validation. And that and that, that is a cut across, a, you know, a phenomenon in everything that we have to do. Ole, but but where did that come this? from? You know, it's because been, there's constantly... Been, been like that constantly, even, even, you know, in... In Ghana, mm-hmm. let me just use Ghana as an example. Some people see getting an award as validation of making and good I don't, music. I personally don't you know, have a problem so I with think that. that it's it's not like that is a, why, that is an why when, when shots were thrown at um, the Ghana Music Awards, that you know it's it's, it's a child's play, and it's, I I was very uh, very offended because you see, in this country, mm-hmm. a scheme like that that has stood the test of time, currently what twenty five years 25. and counting, that has given our artists some level of validation yeah you know necessary validation anybody who speaks against that scheme does not understand the importance of what this is mm-hmm. to the culture mm-hmm. because this is like your your arguably your biggest springboard Bef- before before people were even recognized in the BETs and the mtv mtv base and whatnot they had to first look at their ghana music awards portfolio before some artists were seen that the, the reason why there was a thirst to either become an artist or even have an award from Ghana Music Awards, the reason why people would go into depression because they got nominated about 10 to times didn't and win. didn't get an award, it's because of this same validation. And there's nothing wrong with it because you, at some point in time, you need somebody to validate your work. How do you know whether you are going forward or you are, you are staying behind? You understand what I'm saying? But the fact that we've had to cross over into a global form of validation does not also mean that we as individuals shouldn't do our work. You understand what I'm saying? Afrobeats became Afrobeats today. Because before, I was going to even ask a question. When Sarkozy and Rantan did, did the song, Baby Girl, You Find You, mm-hmm. and at that time, why are you calling Afrobeats? Yeah. yeah. When Joey B did um, Cigarette, um, stro- mm-hmm. uh, I said Cigarette, cigarette yeah. Strawberry Ginger. Strawberry Ginger. Oh, we're not calling it Afrobeats. But if you listen to those records and the records you are hearing today, they are almost the same thing. Why? Nah. Because the world at the time had not globalized, or shall I say, generalized every record as Afrobeats. Everybody had something to take from the buffet table, mm-hmm. right? But now Afrobeats has put everybody under one umbrella. So when a part of it is failing, everybody, everybody under fails. it has failed. And that shouldn't be the case. On that note, <laughs> don't be surprised if tomorrow uh, Grammys will say, um, uh, we've, we've reviewed we've reviewed the, the, the Afrobeats and uh, you need to take out your Bro, drums. Even I'm going to be honest, now, you know, the last time we did the conversation, doesn't qualify any longer. Then they say they're cool. The last time we did the conversation, statistics show that my piano has become even the most yeah, popular. Yeah, yeah, you know. yeah. And it's, it's, it's going to move like that. It's going to move. Where then when Cabo Snow brought Windeck? Yeah. But yeah. that was... <laughs> Big on the continent. Big we weren't hearing it. It was just wind deck. We, we were just keeping mm-hmm. it like that. We're just going. Mm-hmm. So the, mm-hmm. the point is, the more we get these opportunities with African sounds and African music, what has Africa done to itself for itself with the attention? Yeah, you understand because you can't get all this attention and the world will move on. And now you're like, oh, damn. You know, use the uh, the exposure to create your own rules and re-empower the local ecosystem so that you can have some form of grounding. Because at the end of the day, 
hip hop is still hip hop. R&B is still R&B. Chris Brown is still dropping pop R&B music. Rihanna or well, Rihanna is even doing music. Yeah. People are still doing all sort of music under their long-lasting genres. Mm -hmm. Gospel is still got um, Black American gospel is still Black American. They are still dropping their records, and, but it will get to a point. Artists are going to suffer where they want to put or categorize their songs under. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, we have to go home. Yeah. Tomorrow. We're we'll we'll back again, same time here. <laughs> <in Culture laughs> Daily.